All right, so I got a K35 compact Keurig coffee maker, and problem is, is uh, all the lights, uh, when it's plugged in, are lit, and none of the buttons will do any commands. Um, it's pretty much locked out. So, what I did is um, started disassembling this thing, try to get in and figure out what was going on. Um, I saw some some YouTube videos that showed, you know, hold the power button down, open this, close this, while you're holding this down, and then release it, and it would reset the uh, the buttons there. That didn't work. Um, then I saw another video that said, you know, unplug the Keurig and hold the power button and open this, close it while you're holding the power button down and then go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then release the power button. And then it would uh, reset it. That didn't work. So what I found out is I had to take it apart. Now there are four screws. Uh, there they are. They're on the bottom of the Keurig. And um, once you get those off the bottom of the Keurig, then you can take the, um, th there's some little tabs and you kind of have to pry and a screwdriver comes in handy, but you can take off the front of the Keurig and uh, it slides, slides forward and comes off. Try and do this with one hand. So it'll slide and come off like that. And you can see the little tabs that, that kind of hold it in place around the bottom. Um, just some little little quick snap release things there. And it, and it will come off. You know, take off your, obviously your water dispenser there. And then the back will come off of uh, the Keurig uh, in the same manner. It kind of it kind of goes down, and um, it has some tabs on the top that, that kind of have to go up under this part that your water dispenser releases on. But it will come off also, kind of in the same fashion. It pries off. Once those screws are out, there's some just little snaps that you kind of have to work with to get off. Yeah, it just kind of fries off like that in that, ma in that manner. All right, so you got that off. Now what I found is that um, the Keurig did not seem to be getting um, any water uh, up to the top. Um, it would come on a little bit and the air pump would come on in the back and it This is your air pump here And it would make a noise uh, Kind of a gurgling noise, but it wouldn't would never pump any water this this is your water pump right here below your air pump This is your main line that pumps Could water comes in out of your reservoir here into here it's pumped and it's pumped into your hot water heater and then it comes out of your hot water heater and goes up through this big line right here and goes into the top. Now you wanna also take the top off and if you lift up, you'll see there's some tabs here and here. You can just press them with your fingers and this, this part comes off like that. Now you're into the top of it where the, the the water comes in from the hot water heater and comes into here. And um, this is a this has got a pressure plate in it of some sort. And one video I saw says we'll take that out. So pop these little ears here, and this 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 will just come right out off. And this thing here is your pressure plate. Um, it, it was creating some kind of back pressure. I think it was it was stuck 
the spring loaded, but the spring's compressed and this doesn't seem to move. So I don't know if it's gotten warm or, or what's going on with it. But um, anyway, you just, you can just take this right out. It comes out pretty easy uh, with your fingers. You just pull it out and there's a little spring. So one, one video said just leave that out. Um, and you don't really need it. It doesn't really do anything other than create back pressure, which is what I think caused my problem. You know, make sure that your hole's clear. This hole goes straight through to your, to your needles. You get that, that pop the top of your K cup. They're, they're right here and they're kind of sharp, but they should be open and clear. So just kind of look down through the hole and make sure it's you can see daylight through there and then this thing has an o-ring on it so make sure when you pop it back on just um put it put it line it up and then just kind of push it straight down and make sure it has a good seal right here or it will leak out the top um so what i found was wrong with my keurig was that um my motor was locked up my pump motor here and so what I ended up doing was I turn it on and plug it in, turn it on. Well, all the lights would, would come on. And then I would hold this down and lift this, close it back, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then release the power button. And that initiates uh, the air pump to come on. And while that was happening, uh, it should have been initiating the water pump as well. So I just tapped on the side of the water pump and, and it freed it up, it freed the pump. So it immediately started pumping water up and into here. So, um, and at that time all the buttons, um, you know, started flashing and it was in a normal, normal mode. So that, that was the fix, um, had a, had a stump, stuck pump motor, um, water pump motor. So try that and see if that gets you back going again. Um, so, you know, plug it back in and, and when it, when it gets plugged in, you know, no lights are on, you mash this button and um, it's probably going to tell me to add water. I'll go ahead and set this back on it. So I've got some water in it. Um, hopefully that's enough to, to get it to work. But first thing you hear is the um, you hear the water pump come on and kind of preheat. And then you have to lift this, close it back, and that's what it should do. It should flash. And which cup do you want? We'll just do the small cup. I don't have a lot of water. And you can see it's it's working. And the water's coming coming in through this line. And that noise you're hearing is this pump. There it is again, it's coming back on. So you don't hear that whirring when you got a pump problem. Um, and get rid of this pressure plate in here. It seems to work fine without it maybe even brew a little bit faster. All right, so I hope that helps somebody. Appreciate it.